Hey guys, we implemented ENS uh, bidding. So in this video, I'm going to walk through the steps of creating a file for ENS and uploading it. This video is actually going to be more like an Excel tutorial because obviously you have to create a file uh, for the range that you want to place your bids. It's a little bit different than regular bidding, but it is very straightforward and easy. Uh, that being said, let's start. I'm going to set a file uh, from scratch and I'm going to start bidding in the video. All right, so once you open the ENS bidding screen, actually let me open it again here uh, from the menu, you can just click ENS bidding or it's also on the left side. Uh, and once you click it, the system is going to open a new window and in this video, you will click on import ENS templates. Uh, you can download an empty template for filling the values later. So let's just do it. And I'm going to be using Google Sheets. This is free, as you know, as long as you have a Google account, like a Gmail account. You can also do the same things on Microsoft Excel too, or on a similar uh, software. So here in this one, I'm just going to create a new sheet and I'm going to call it a video tutorial. In this sheet, I'm going to import the file I downloaded. So I'm going to click here, import, and here you are going to click on uh, upload and just drag your file here. Let's just do it. I'm going to just put it here. All right, then I'm going to replace the spreadsheet so the data will appear in this very sheet we are looking at. All right, actually it is pretty simple. We just have five columns. Uh, in domain name, we will enter the values that we want to place bits on and default bit is going to be our minimum bits that we want to place on as well. So my default bit, I'm just uh, filling some values here to uh, get the system running. Uh, I'm going to be placing 0.02 Ethereum and then my max bit is going to be 0.07. I want to place bits with a duration of let's say 30 minutes and then the duration type can be either minutes of hours and for obviously for minutes I'm going to be putting in M and if I want to place bits in the duration type of hours it would have been H and then this is the a little bit more complicated part but let's just uh, explain it so assume that I want to be placing bits in the 100k club 100k club is just a made up name for the first uh, 100,000 uh, ENS names in terms of numbers. It actually doesn't uh, affect us, but it's called 100k club. So I will be placing bits from 50,000 to uh, let's say 65,000. So for doing that, I'm just going to actually let me just do it step by step. I'm going to uh, write down 50,000 here, then I will uh, go to the bottom of this page. For doing that, you can press on control button and then down arrow. Here, you will see that the page is limited to a thousand rows, but you can add more. Let's add a uh, hundred thousand more. And then let's click on add. As you see, there is new uh, rows added here. So, I'm just for filling it easily. Obviously, you don't want to write them one by one. Uh, I will just tell the system, tell the uh, Google Sheets to go to a uh, fifteen thousand. All right. So here I'm going to put a mark so that I can fill it easier. I'm just going to write a little formula here. I'm just going to uh, make a plus one, and then I am going to drag the formula all the way down. So actually, there are other ways of doing this in Excel as well, but I just do it this way because it's simple. And then here I will just uh, copy these uh, other four rows down. So for doing that, I'm just going to go down by holding the control button. I'm going to be selecting these four rows Then I'm going to press on shift and control buttons and I'm going to be uh, pasting them. In Mac and in Windows, uh, control button is 
different for Mac you are supposed to be using command button I guess but I always change it with control in the keyboard so I keep saying control and in Windows you use control button all right so there is one other thing that we do the system doesn't add uh, that e th at the end of the uh, at the end of the name here I, we just thought it would be creating confusion because then people would place bits on stuff like 500 ETH ETH so in order to eliminate mistakes we thought it would be better just creating the exact same file here that we are going to be placing bits so uh, I'm going to be adding dot eth at the end of this particular cell here uh, there are also other ways of doing it but i'm just going to do it in a very simple way i'm just going to paste dot eth here and then i am going to concatenate them so you can just uh, write its name it is concatenate then you not this one though this one you, are, you can select it so i want this string to be merged with the second one which is this one right you see then you can just copy it all the way down or all the way up all right so here you see now we are placing bits we are getting ready to place bit from 50,000 to 65,000 I'm just going to select this uh, row here and I am going to be placing it here specially uh, you can just right click on paste special or on windows you can press alt e s v if i'm not wrong so i'm just going to yeah it's done then i'm going to delete the values here all right actually we are ready we can delete this column here as well uh, now as i mentioned the system is going to be placing bits uh, with a default bit of 0.02 and uh, with a maximum bit of 0.07 just like the regular bidding if the max bit on the ethereum name on the domain name is higher than my max bit the system is going to skip the bit in order to uh, save your wet balance uh, all right let's go back to the system actually i think i got one uh, while I was testing it was it on this no not, not I got one while testing too but I also got a nice number while I was testing it uh, anyway so now let's download this file as CSV download button then I'm going to pick comma separated values and uh, I'm going to upload it here in the system let's click on upload and here I will just pick the video tutorial and then I'm going to click on save change but before that you can see that the system imported uh, imported 14,999 rows here then uh, you will see the exact values you will be placing bits so if you want to check them you can just press on next and check each page one by one it looks pretty decent and then I am going to be uh, starting with my bits so just like the regular bidding you can loop you can use uh, private key I'm just going to be using the private key to make it faster so let's start I'm going to export the private key here but yeah I mean you can just do it with the regular way with auto clicking but private key is more convenient so yeah so it just says please make sure that your inputs are correct obviously otherwise it's going to place bits on the wrong inputs you see right now uh, the some of the values here have a higher max bit than my max bit so uh, the system is just passing them and then system is sending bits to the values uh, that are within my range let's go to uh, activity tab and see the system placing bits you see yeah so for instance for this one the system is placing my minimum bits however for this one there is already a bit on this value on this ens name as you see which is 0.036 
and the system is placing 0.0361 here. So it's just increasing it a little bit. So we are the highest bidder. So you have to do your research to find out which values to bid on. There are some different clubs on OpenSea. I'm, I'm going to show you uh, one of them. Uh, actually, these clubs are a made up category by OpenSea. So you see, let's, let's go to this one. And in this one, you will see that 100K club here. And then if you click on this 100K club, uh, you will, and then click on buy now, actually you will see the floor price of these names, uh, which is 0.069, which is 0.07 basically. So there are different floor prices for ENS names with three letters, uh, for common English names. Like obviously if you just Google the most common names and create a file for yourself, then it's going to be competitive. Also, it's going to have more demand. So I believe one of the most common names is Josh uh, in or John, more like uh, in uh, English. So let's check Josh dot John dot E T H. You see, there is a high offer here already. And then I don't know, like. The, how you research is up to you. I can make another video about like how I did my research while I was testing them because I also placed high bits in order to test everything. Uh, but yeah, the way you research is entirely up to you. All right, so let's go back to the profile and we will be seeing that, you know, the system is still placing bits with the logic we set up. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, oh, Basque already started bidding. So yeah. Like some people didn't need the tutorial, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck, guys. Happy trades and happy flips.